guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an updated apartment tour. Now, I uploaded an apartment tour three years ago, and that is when I first moved into this place. A lot of people have been commenting and asking me to do an updated apartment tour. I will say I am very much a creature of habit, so not a lot has changed from here, but there are some things that have changed. So also, like I said, I've lived here for three years, so I'm now going into my final year of college and I'm super sad because I feel like when I just got here, um, I love my school, I love a and I love this apartment, and so it makes me really sad to know that I only have a year left here. I'm not going to have to be telling you goodbye soon, so let's go ahead and get into this apartment tour. Alright, so the first thing I just want to show y'all real quick is this mirror right here. I believe I got this from either Marshalls or Ross or something like that. It's been here for a long time, but I love this mirror. I wanted it vertical and it had like the studs to be hung up vertical or horizontal. Um, and so I'm really in love with this and I love just the funky shape of it and the little studs. And I think it just fits perfectly on this wall. It's a good like going out the door, check your hair kind of mirror. When we back out, there is my bathroom right there, and then over here is my trash closet. And then when you walk in, this is the view. Sorry, that lighting is pretty harsh. Starting off with the island here. So these bar stools I picked up again, Ross and Marshall, I'm not really sure. I will link my original apartment tour video down below because that was right after I moved in and I remembered where everything was from and so I'm like rattling it off to you guys. And then up here just my little fruit bowl. I can't believe my bananas are already browning. I got them like two days ago. It switches from that being here. It switches with that little plant because I do like that to be the first thing you see when you walk in. But I also like having my fruit bowl out to remind me to eat my fruit. So it kind of switches. And then over here, like you can see my stress relief candle. I love this. My mom made these essential oil candles and they're so nice and the packaging on them is so pretty so those just hang out there and then this right here my mom got me for us which is my zodiac sign and then oh, a little note I left from August 5th 2019 but anyways just like a little note keeper and it comes with a cute little pen Taylor has one too that's really cool because his sign is cancer and his is a deep charcoal with silver on it and I love how big this island is it's so nice to have all of this space and then I also have just for those who are curious there's tons of outlets in this apartment like there's so many and then moving over here this has not really changed since my first video except Taylor and I have been collecting wine cords as we try different wines together um, so that's new, but these little things have always been there, and this is actually where my keys hang out. Alright, and then coming just around this corner here is my pantry, and then we have a little kitchen area, and then there's a ton of storage on this side as well as my dishwasher. So guys, I'm so excited. I've been nonstop talking about air fryer, and so Taylor got me this for my birthday. It's super cool. I've used it already, and the color on it is so pretty. Like, it's like a sparkly, shiny deep charcoal gray like I didn't even know they made air fryers this pretty and then moving on over here I just have cooking stuff and then some of my vitamins from Hum Beauty then my little towel rack then here's my little A&M picture that I dunked my ring in and then it's just filled with avocados and lime or lemons I would say limes avocados and lemons I actually need to eat those avocados now that I think about it Here's a cute little recipe box that my mom gave me and she put some of her recipes in there and then I also have cards to add my own. Um, so I've been getting into cooking lately. And then here is this little jar that Taylor's mom made and then Taylor filled it with a bunch of sweet notes for me. And then over here is just my three little jars and there is flour, sugar, tea packets, and hot chocolate packets. And I have this little follow your heart thing from Taylor. This little organizer is just where I keep important stuff y'all don't need to see it it's confidential <laughs> and then right here is like my little wine accessories so. all right and now moving on from the kitchen this lighting is really harsh can y'all still see what's going on okay i like never use this light because it's so harsh and there's three of them and it like bounces off the wall and then ricochets so back to this like i said this guy just found a home here he's only over here when my fruit bowl is full my fruit bowl is not full, it's up in the cupboard, and then this is over there. But that's just hanging out over here. I did have it in the center, but then it's like, which looks cool, but I don't know, it looks cool from far away, but then if you're actually sitting here, like a plant is in your way, you know? Maybe I could do that and like leave this over here, 
and then when I'm actually using the table, like then I can swap it. I also have my little placemats that just hang out down here. I either got these from Walmart or Big Lots, something like that. And then this I got from Marshalls. It's just a really pretty cream face with some fake white flowers. These chairs I fell in love with and I'm still obsessed with them. They're so comfy and plush. And there's this beautiful blue with this weathered looking gray legs. I love this so much. I got both of them from Marshalls. And then this uh, table here, we actually bought it ready to paint. So like you bought it, but it was like that kind of how all the wood looks in Michaels, you know, that needs to be painted. And then so we picked this gray color to kind of tie it all in together. I was gonna try to distress it to match the legs, but I actually really loved how it looked by itself, like as is, so we left it like that. And when I say we, I mean my mom, because she helped me with all these DIYs, because I had never DIYed in my life. And here I was like, oh, we could totally DIY that for my apartment, DIY that, DIY that. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and honestly, I haven't DIYed since, because I'm just not a DIY kind of girl. Now moving to the living room. Okay, so walking over here, I have my French doors, and these go into my bedroom, which y'all will see later in this video. And then let's turn on some lights. Um, and then I'm going to close these just because it's nighttime now, but I usually have these open in the day. And I do have a little balcony out there, although I don't go out on that balcony because I went there once. Well, not once. I went there out there one time, and it was after my first Christmas, and I was taking down my lights and stuff, and then I got bit by something. I don't know what it was, and I got a really weird like whelp and stuff and I had to go to the doctor and then the doctor was like I've never seen that kind of bug bite before that's crazy but it's definitely a bug bite and then I had to have all the take all this medicine and antibiotics and then I had an allergic reaction to the antibiotics and then I broke out in hives and then I had to treat the hives it was crazy so long story short I don't go out there because freaky bugs live out there so they have their space the apartment and I have mine anyways that was a little intense <laughs> all right so I just moved y'all, but here are my French doors. So I have my TV that my stepdad mounted for me. I'll zoom y'all in real quick, but up here I have this candle that I got from Colorado. Super cool, like you can sit there and watch them make these. I got one for like everyone in my family. <laughs> um, and then when you burned it, it was really cool because it would light up, but it got too low and then I burned it and I actually like started burning the wax off. So I stopped. And now it is just decor, but I got this in one of the little shops in Breckenridge, Colorado. I have a vlog from, gosh, that was so long ago, but I do have a vlog from that trip and being in the store. And so the store name is on there. If you guys are super curious, you can find that vlog. And then this, I love this smell, and mainly I kept it because it matched the green theme for my living room. But, oh gosh, it hasn't been open in forever. But yeah, it's burned all the way to the bottom. I just kept it because I love the color and the gold lid. And it is sparkling Prosecco. And then here, I have this that I got either from Marshalls or Ross. And it's just a nice gold touch. And I love how it just perfectly like goes with the rectangle shape of this. I think I got this from Home Goods. This really big, the media center. Closer for you guys. So I really like this. And then I have a light that switches on. And I don't know if y'all can see it because it's probably too light in here, but it like lights up this thing. It's really, really, really pretty. Can y'all see it from afar? Okay, and then the bottom shelves aren't really the most exciting. This has taken a beating super cheap, I think, for like $10. And it's just one of those pop-up things and it actually matches my rug. That's why I bought it. But so much has like, it's gotten so dingy over the years. Um, but that's just filled with random stuff. This is random school stuff and papers. And then over here, a jar that's actually a flower jar, but I thought it was so pretty and I love the gold, so I use it to hold my remotes. And then over here, I have, ugh, I love this so much. So I actually got this in Breckenridge as well, and this is my dog back home. His name is Bo, and I just love this so much. We took this photo. <laughs> we took it, like, as if he was on board. My mom took this photo of us before I left home, so I, this is the summer before I left for college. And I just really, really love this photo. I'm pretty sure when I shot my apartment tour forever ago, I had this, but I hadn't printed the photo. But I actually did shortly after that video, I promise, guys. I've had it together. Okay, and then down here is just some books I've been reading as well as books from school. All right, and then right here I have this green chair. And it hangs out here for the most part, but then when I have 
a lot of people over because my couch isn't that big i'll move it out to one of the sides also when i have my christmas tree it hangs out here and this usually sits on the carpet like by my kitchen um, but I really, really like this. A big reason why it also stays over here is because it actually doesn't match the green that I painted my uh, side table and my main table and my other table. <laughs> so because it doesn't match, it looks like it matches over here from afar. But when they're really close, it's kind of like, hmm. But yeah, so I have this. I love this chair. It's actually super comfortable. My mom got it or gave it to me. She used to have it in her office. And then this is a blanket I got from my big Logan. And then this pillow, I believe I got from Marshall's. And it's like a weird goldish green olive color. I don't really know, but I really like, I feel like putting it here, like, does something with this color. And I like it. All right, so the, ow, it just ripped off my hair. <laughs> the next thing here is my little coffee area. And so I have this bowl, I think I got from Home Goods or Home Sense or something like that. And it's just so pretty. It's handmade. And I just really, really love this. And this was a white table that I actually picked up at a resale shop in my hometown. It was white and my mom and I were like, hey, that's a perfect little coffee table size. So I got that and painted it. And then you'll also see it's the same thing I used on my side table. Um, and then underneath is just random like school papers and adulting that just hangs out under there all right and then over here we got the couch i either got this couch from wait no no no. i was gonna say wayfair i think i got it from nebraska furniture mart like i said more details and more exactness and accuracy can be found in my first video of my apartment because it's been three years and i haven't had to answer these questions <laughs> so i don't remember where i got stuff from but i want to say i went on to nebraska furniture mart because my parents were like members there so they got discounts or something and I knew I wanted like a really neutral, most likely tan color. It's a sale couch, put it filtered for tan and a few other colors that I was considering. And then I just sorted low to high of the clearance. And I looked at like the first 20 that popped up and I had picked this one. And I saved tons of money, guys, like compared to the other couches on there. So that's a little hack. I just like read reviews to make sure people said it was comfortable and then I was good with it. My only complaint is it is very like narrow, but these are also really big. So it does take up a lot of space because you know, the back of the couch goes here, but half of it is this cushion. Then this I got, I don't actually know where I got this. My mom got it for me for Christmas. My green one used to hang up here. I think I got this from Marshall's. I was on the hunt for a green blanket for so long and this has definitely gotten like more rough over the years, but it's also a good like warm go-to blanket and the next thing right above my couch i wanted something very like neutral but i knew i wanted a big painting because this is a lot of empty wall and so i was really happy to get this and i got this for 40 dollars at home goods what i really like about this is you know it's just all the trees like in a row going down and then there's this little gate right there i think that is such a cool touch and then it just keeps going and like I was saying, over here off the side of my couch by my balcony is my, look, Google is listening to me. Those are just extra picture frames hanging out down there. And then this was white and I also painted it green with the same paint from my coffee table. And then here I have these little A&M coasters. I had another one, but it broke. Then I have my little Google Home. And then I have this green, look how crooked my photo is. Ooh. Look how crooked my photo is, guys. Um, that's a photo of me and my dad when I was little when he got back from China and then I got this green I think I got this green lamp at Marshall's and then it just came with this shade then we move over here I have this really bougie diffuser my mom got me and then I have a photo of me and my oldest sister Callie and then me and a photo of middle sister so she is older than me I'm the youngest well I'm the youngest of these and then I have a half sister named Maya and she is six years old so but growing up I was the youngest um, and so then that's Emma and that's a photo from when we were really young we were probably like three and four and that and then down here is my candle collection guys I freaking love candles and like I mentioned a million times my mom has a candle company and so I'm always like as she experiments or tries new things I'm always taking the things that she may toss um, or just put in my own orders for stuff I really want. Then I have this um, heat warmer that I got from Walmart for $5. These little 
mirrors and I just got these in a set of three sorry the shadows are getting so bad and I just got these in a set of three and I just really like these all right and now we're moving on to probably my most favorite part of this apartment and that is my bathroom come on in Alright guys, so when you walk in here, let me put a little more light for y'all, sorry if it's very orange. But when you walk in here, here I have my laundry area. I just have washer and dryer and then this little storage here, which is actually pretty convenient because I like to store like my hampers and all my stuff in here and I like that I have a lot of space. I love that they mounted the water heater up here. Um, so it wasn't taking up potential space on the ground. Like I think the way they thought this through was really, really nice. You just have to be careful not to hit your head on this, but I don't think I ever have. Or if I did, it was like right when I moved in or something. So then there's a bunch of doors in this bathroom if you haven't noticed. But then here is where it starts to turn and then I have a door on each side of me. This door here is my linen closet. And then this door here is my walk-in closet. So here is my linen closet. And there's not a ton going on in here. Just some bleach down there, then my hamper, and this, and then just some towels. This is what my tool paper hangs out in. Down in there, I just like stack it up. It looks kind of cool when it's poking out. And then some towels. And then up there, I usually keep my beach towels and towels for the pool. I just washed everything because I did that whole bug bomb thing. And so I washed all of my towels. So those are hanging out in the dryer right now. And then, like I said, right across the little hallway here is the closet, which I have my little shoe back thing here, which I love. And then I also have some shoes hanging out in there. Okay, and I'll make this quick so y'all don't get nauseous, but... Walking in here, there's a little bit, you know, walk-in area there. Uh, down in there is my business clothes because I just finished my internship and I did get a full-time offer. Whoop. I still have one more year of school to finish, so all my fancy clothes are down in there and then all my, like, suit jackets are up here. But anyways, here's what we're working with. I just did a closet clean-out yesterday, so that video should be up shortly after this if you want to know a little bit more about my closet. It was crazy, like, I couldn't even walk in here yesterday. So I did a major, major declutter. I got rid of like three full trash bags of stuff and then like a bag of shoes. Moving from my closet over here, I just have my toilet. And I actually have gotten a couple questions about this trash can. I got it from Marshalls. It's like a woven trash bag and, or trash can. I got this towel from Marshalls. I have matching set that I like a shower with. And then this little candle my mom made me. Here is a new addition since I moved in. This is canvas little photo painting thing that Taylor's mom got me for Christmas. I think it's so cute. It's crazy because this photo was taken when we were dating for like two months and now we're close to hitting two years. Then the little G. I don't really know where I got that. I know I got this sign from Rue 21 when they were going out of business. And then this little clock here. I love this. I love this whole nook. Like I love this little nook they put up here, just a little nice detail that's not necessary, but I love that they threw it in here. And then moving over here, what really makes me love this bathroom is this huge vanity. Like, I just love it. I have so much space for all of my products. And then I also have a new addition that I haven't talked a ton about, but I have a little high mirror. This thing is so cool. It's one of the things I'm gonna miss the most about this apartment when I move. And then down in here, I have a bunch of, it's like my go-to stuff is up here, my nail care and like face care is down there. At the bottom over here is body care, like lotions and bath bombs and stuff like that. Then hair stuff and then my actual heating tools. I just did a declutter of all of that stuff today actually. And so that is going to be going up soon too if you want to check that out. And last part of the bathroom is my shower. I love this thing. Now, fair warning, I do have a ton of products in here, but I love this because it's a garden tub. It's what they call it, and it's super nice for baths. Just a plain white tile. All right, now let's move on. This door here actually takes you to my bedroom, so I really like it. That door is the bedroom, and then this is the front of the apartment, so it's nice that you can have like two 
ways. It actually like wraps around the corner of the apartment. Okay, so now moving on to my bedroom. guys so welcome to my room i'm sitting right now on a little footstool that hangs out at the front of my bed i love this room too honestly i love every room in my apartment you think i'd be like sick of them by now since i've been here for three years but i still love everything like i wish i could just pick up this place and move it to dallas okay so right off the bathroom is little makeup corner um and this is just my alex nine door system i do have a, like I just got it from Ikea. I do have a dedicated declutter slash makeup collection coming up soon. This little guy, I'm not sure where. I got it for Christmas for my grandma and I love just how girly and dainty and vintage it looks. And then right here, it's like see-through on the top. And then, oh, I'm trying to be careful because my bracelet is in there. Here is my dirty brushes that need to be cleaned. They hang out in this little compartment. Then I have my Artiste brushes up here. I have my Marc Jacobs foundation. This is so old and expired, but I just, it's more of a collector's item and like on display, you know? And then my little G, I've had this forever. I don't really even know where I got it. Like, I'm not kidding. I've had this since I was like eight years old. Then these two paintings up here, I believe I got from Marshalls and or Ross, like one of those. So I just got sheer burlap, thin, tan, Curtains. Why did it take me so long to say those words? Anyways, tan curtains, and then since they're sheer, I ran these lights through the back, and when they're glowing, and especially at night when this is all closed up, like, it looks gold, because originally my theme for this room was blue and gold, um, as you will see, and so this does look cool at nighttime. This dresser I actually got from Buy Sell Trade on Facebook in my hometown, and it was all white, and it was really pretty, but I wanted something, like, super girly, and so... What I did is I painted this like a greenish blue to match my room and then I painted like a metallic gold on top and then I went through and distressed it so you can see blue coming through out. But I just really loved it and this is how the handles were. Um, like I said, it was just a plain white before with these gold handles. My only complaint is it's not very like deep of drawers so I can't hold a ton in here but it's held everything I need so far so, so far so good. Um, up here I have two jewelry boxes. These are both from my Pappy. And that is my great grandpa. So he sends me just the sweetest gifts every year. There was a little uh, bird on this one, but it broke. My sisters have the same ones and all their little birds broke, but we still have these cute. I just love how girly they are and it's so thoughtful. And then here, I just took old perfumes. Uh oh, I just still took old perfumes, like VS perfumes that I wasn't wearing. And I used them to hold my scrunchies because I wanted something like thin enough that it wouldn't stretch them out because I do like to wear them on my wrists. So I just have one on each side over here. And I really like that. It reminds me of my scrunchies, you know, to grab one and pair it with my outfit, even though I'm not wearing one right now. I don't know if you can see that, but these are the scrunchies I'm talking about. I have these that I love. I got this from TJ Maxx, and this is where my clean brushes hang out. Okay, these are actually pretty big. I just have a lot of brushes, but this is a new addition that wasn't here last video. I think I was using like tinier mason jars. Moving over here is my I know there's a fancy word for it, but it just holds my jewelry, so it has full-length mirror. And then you open it up, and all of my jewelry is in here. I love it. Very, very convenient. Although this is not where I look at my full outfits. You'll see that mirror in a second. All right, then of course you saw my bed. Now, my bed was pretty different the last time I did a video about it. But I had a tan one on here, and I still have that comforter, but it actually wasn't that comfy. So now I have this quilt. And I really like it because it's a thin quilt. It's great for Texas nights, especially in the summer, because it's a very thin quilt, so you're not like, there's no stuffing or anything in it. This and the matching pillows are what inspired me to do like a bluish green color with gold. I have that little foot bench stool thing down at the bottom. This headboard, 
actually came from Big Lots, just a plain tan one. These in the back, my golds don't match, but I really wanted satin pillowcases, and my mom got me these gold ones. And then the actual pillows are Calvin Klein pillows. And this massive guy I got from, I believe it was Pottery Barn, and I was super excited. I don't remember if this happened before I moved or after I moved, but I was super excited because they were having this huge end of year sale. And so I bought this thinking I got the whole comforter because before it was pricey and it was saying that it was like $100 but on sale for like, I think it was like $30. And so I was really excited and I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to work so great with like my blue and gold theme. So I, this was going to be like my whole comforter all the way down. Um, but turns out they weren't selling the comforter. They were just selling this pillow for $30. So I paid $30 for this freaking pillow which I love, it's gorgeous, but like, <laughs> paid $30 for this pillow, which had a little snag in the silk, so that's annoying too. Who is paying $100 for this pillow in the first place? Then I have this little guy. I love just the detail in this and how it picks up light and shines off of it. Very pretty, and I got this from Marshalls, I believe. All right, moving on to over here, right next to my bed is my nightstand and I really, really like this. Um, here's my little lamp. So it used to do one click, would turn on this and it was like a nightlight by itself. And then the second click turns on this. I don't really know how to change the bulb in there and I didn't really use it that much anyway. So just this is fine. And then I got this at Marshall's or no, sorry, I got this at Walmart. And then I have this was actually given to me when I was a senior by my friend JC and it actually holds, it just says Gigum for A&M and it actually holds my Aggie ring as well as my necklace from Taylor that I wear all the time. It, they sit in there at night when I'm sleeping or just when I'm not wearing them, that is their home. Then I have this just lavender mist that Taylor got me that I actually am surprised I still have any of because I use this every night to spray my pillows. And then I have from my mom's side the little candle co and this is in the shady clips and she did it to match my room for me. It's very sweet, very thoughtful. She knew how much I was on a journey and determined to make everything match in here. And then this little table I believe I got for like 20 or $30 from Ross. Over here to what I was just sitting on, this is just a little bench and then there's storage underneath and I just have really just extra blankets down in there. And then right here is my camera battery charger. And then up here I have my perfume wall. Now I used to have a lot more perfumes on here and it looked cooler, but then I decided I only wanted to keep perfumes up here that I actually wear. All right, and then just up here at the top is this very pretty painting and I really, really like it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it has like gold reflex going down her dress. So it, does, like, it really did tie into my apartment. But also I really like the size. I got it from Ross less than $30 like it was a really good deal it really is a good size to go with my perfume shelf as well and I love this this actually hangs out a lot in the background of my videos but you don't really get to see it because most of it like cuts off right there but I love this painting and when we move over here we have my big mirror from Walmart from like for like 30 or 40 dollars it was such a good steal because actually looking around for these they are crazy expensive like it's hard to find a full-length mirror under a hundred dollars so I was really happy about this um, and I was just gonna have it sit on the ground and lean but I liked the thought of having like I had so much wall space and I like just having my floors a little bit cleaner to walk around so I asked my stepdad to mount this up to the wall for me and I actually really really like it this way and it's just perfect for full-length mirror for sending a cute snap to Taylor so then you just walk in through these French doors, which I love. And then the last part of my room is right here. My bathroom starts right there. So we have gone full circle. And this was such a, this is such a subtle part in my room because it's on a very small part of the wall. There's so much else going on. So I wanted to keep this very neutral and I love the white and white frame and then just gold writing. Like I feel like it's extra, but it also just blends into the wall. So it's really nice. Um, but yeah, and I just love these quotes, of course, girl power, just so chic, such idols. So at the top it says, in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different, Coco Chanel. Then we have, elegance is the only beauty that never fades, Audrey Hepburn. 
And then lastly, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world, Marilyn Monroe. And I just love those. I love, again, the girliness that it adds to the room. There's so much to my apartment and like little details I try to throw in there that I personally like. And although I'm pointing everything out to y'all right now, um, I do not point these things out to my guests. And so it's kind of cool because some of them like won't notice things until they've been over a couple times. And so that, like I said, this leads back out to the main area so that is it for my apartment tour i really hope you guys enjoyed also i'm sorry again for the lighting i'm trying i was trying to race the sun but anyways so that is it for my apartment tour i hope you guys enjoy also like i mentioned i am moving to dallas in a year so if any of y'all have any recommendations or apartments i should check out or anything like that because it is definitely way pricier to live there than it is to live in college station so I need some insight, I need some good advice. Send that my way. You can either leave it in the comments below or DM me on any of my social media. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't yet, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye!